welcome back to my channel. Today is another skincare first impressions review. Um, this is another Amazon brand and of course I will have the links down below in the, the description for you. So if you want to check it out you can. And it is the brand OBAIG. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It is a medical grade brand of skincare. You can see it right here. We are going to try the peel and we are going to try the eyebrow boosting serum. Now, obviously I don't have eyebrows, so this really did appeal to me. We're not gonna see results of this the first day, but I will give you a description of my experience with it as I use it and um, let you know what kind of texture and all that stuff. So, let's start with this uh, multi-acid facial peel. So I got my headband on and we are ready to go. Let's see what they say to do for this peel. And it says the first step is start with a clean dry face, which I do have already. Pull pre-saturated pad from foil and gently squeeze off excess of prep solution. Gently glide or gently swipe pad across the entire face, avoid eyelids and mouth areas, allow to completely dry. Okay, so, oh, so there is more than one use in here, which I'm pleasantly surprised. It looks like there is a total of four. So this is what's, what it looks like. And this is step one, and that's what we're doing now. Okay, so this is a lot thicker than I imagined. It has a little pouch here so you can stick it on your fingers and glide around. Um, but yeah, this is the prep step. Okay, so that is it of step one. Now on here, we're gonna go ahead and read the next step and some of the other stuff as this dries. I do feel some tingling a little bit. Um, as I've said before, my face is slightly sensitive, but this is a peel and peels should, you should feel something. Your skin is at some point going to flake. It is intended to get rid of dead skin and stuff like that, help reduce things like um, age spots and stuff like that so let's read prep step two it says ensure skin is completely dry from step one use gloves provided if desired I don't, maybe, I don't see the gloves maybe they're in here somewhere let me see they are they are there's a little spot right here there are gloves um, Pull pre-saturated pad from foil and gently squeeze off excess peel solution to avoid dripping during the application to the face. Gently swipe pad across the face and systematic pattern noted above. Gently wipe, swipe pad across entire face and a systematic pattern noted below. It says you um, center forehead to the temples and then down the face yes yeah, it's down the down the face perpen follow the perimeter of the jawline between the brows okay i think i got that and skip all that if the tingling is tolerable swipe the pad across the entire face a second time in the same pattern if the tingling is too intense skip this step so that's important especially for sensitive skin like I said, this is a peel. You will have tingling, but pay attention because you, you don't want to have problems. And then it says, after the peel, apply um, hydrate or a gentle face moisturizer after the peel daily to relieve any dryness, which I like bathe in, in, in moisturizer, so that's not an issue. Um, it says avoid direct sunlight um, for seven days for the peel and do not pick or pe peel at the peeling of skin. So that's gonna be kind of hard for me, but I will survive. Using the peel to decrease, see, 
this is the part you should really listen to. Using the peel to decrease the risk of sensitivity or ad adverse reaction to the skin, avoid the following products during the peel in at least seven days prior to the peel. Uh, retinol solutions, I got some that I need to temporarily not use. Um, let's see. Let's see, chemical exfoliants, which I don't use chemical ones. I have exfoliants that I use, but not chemical ones. And it says to avoid laser hair removal, waxing, depilatory creams. I know I'm saying that right. Electrolysis, um, whatever that is. Yeah, I don't know some of that. So anyways, um, let's get on to the last step. Ooh, okay, so this, this smells very strong, so be prepared for that. This is way stronger than I thought it would be, so um, that's probably all I'm going to use of it. I'm gonna toss it out, I'm not doing it a second time. Wow, that is really, really strong, so yeah. It will, um, it says they'll be light flaking and peeling in about 48 hours. So not today, not tomorrow, but probably, yeah. And in, in a couple days, I'm gonna have some flaking. And after that, I will have some prettier, younger, youthful looking skin, ideally. So that, that would be the first impressions of that. Um, like, I get, the, these are medical grade. So like, use these very cautiously. They will work. But um, yeah, follow the instructions. Cause like I said, the, uh, my, my face is sensitive. I didn't think I'd feel anything, but like, wow, I, I feel it. So keep that in mind. All right, we're moving on to the eyebrow boosting serum. Um, it says for external use only directions. Nightly after cleansing the skin, hold one horizontal and apply the, um, Serum directly to the eyebrow hair follicles and to the skin along the brow line where hair prominence is desired. It says do not apply to any other area. So like if you're wanting lashes, use a lash arm. Do not, do not use the brow. This is inten in, intended solely for your brows. It does come with a little pamphlet here. Let's see if you can get it. I, I guess it's just the same thing, just um written bigger so you can see it or read it and this is what the eye serum looks like or eyebrow serum this is a nice um metal container okay so i got it open and here it is what the one looks like that is i mean it looks like a typical brush wand that you would use if you're applying makeup so i mean i can get behind that so I'm going to go ahead and apply it. Application is easy, seamless. Um, one thing I can say I do like about it, it's not dripping. It's not all over the place. It's very stationary, which I don't, I mean, I like the fact that there's tons of eye serums, eyelash serums and stuff out there. I don't like it when they're too runny because it's very hard to control it and keep it in place and um sometimes it gets in your eyes like the particularly the um lash serums and if i'm trying to enhance my lashes or my brows i don't want it dripping all every everywhere i want it very stationary very concentrated in the area that i am trying to promote growth so i do like the fact that i don't find this very runny at all it has 0.17 fluid ounces and um hopefully in a few months, I will see more eyebrow hair. But anyways, that is it of this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts of these products down below. And if you like more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video.